Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nino Sport, man. This is Leicester City Career Mode. This is episode number eight. Thank you so much for the support in episode number seven. I really appreciate that. Without wasting any time, let's look at our match previews. We have Fulham at home. We have Villa at home. We have West Ham United away. Then we have Brighton in the last game away as well, which means we're going to Amex Stadium. If I can collect at least nine points in this game, okay, let me just say if I can get at least three wins in this game, that will be good enough for me. I will be happy with it. But without wasting any time, let's go to Fulham and get our first game underway. Signing another player now. I have a very big problem at the back, man. So I decided that maybe it is a wise idea to bring a more experienced defender. So Jerome Bottem was that guy for me today. I'm gonna try and get him. He's only 12 million his value. So hopefully if I can pay 12 million or less, let me try 10. Boom. We get him for 10 million i know it's not a long-term fix he's only like gonna be here maybe for one year or six months or one and a half and I'm, I'm not gonna keep him long but then we will get to know how many years he wants uh let me say rotation is is it he wants to be important of which is good of which is good his role if it's important then that's okay with me uh five years because sayuncho will be playing he wants three years god uh, i don't want him to be here for so long i was just testing it but okay three years it's okay but he's gonna drop isn't it he's gonna keep on dropping hopefully he can take a huge pay cut let's see if he can do that uh he doesn't like that but I can do with 68. It's more than 15,000 pay cut. We did that. First game of the episode, we're facing Fulham at King Power Stadium. Let's look at our starting 11. We have Ian uh Barnes, Atal, Prayat, Mendy, Chaudhary, RJ, Bankovic, Palacios, our youth development player, and Justin. They're playing Pep Guardiola style kind of formation, 4-3-3. It's, it's a very good formation. And they still have quality players, honestly speaking. First attack came from uh, Fulham. Five minutes in the game. They are they are just playing the ball in front of our 18-yard area, but a shot came in for Cavariero. I don't know how to call him, but it was missed. Then Ianacho. On the 10th minute, they are natural with a cross. He finds a tall, good control, good finish. We take a lead inside 10 minutes of the first half, of which is a good thing for us. Good play by Yanacho. Good control by Atal. Good finish as well. On the 14 minutes we came back with Atal. He got a chance. He took a shot like this. It was not a good shot at all. It was very slow. A slow shot, but then it finds its way to the bottom corner and it's 2 0. Oh my god. My phone. Another chance came and then Barnes scored. On the 20th minutes, we are already 3 nil up. Sorry about that quietness. My phone was distracting me here. I had to switch it off. But good finish by Barnes as well. Probably it's his first goal or second goal in the season. Barnes again came forward. Tries to dribble Hector. He did and then he tries a shot. He missed the target completely. Barnes, he was on top of this game, man. He's all over Fulham United. Fulham, not United. Fulham FC, something like that. Why I'm calling them United? Uh, Prayad, 
So yeah, Nacho, it's the second half. It's almost 10 minutes into the save, or above 10 minutes into the second half, but straight to Rodak who make a save. It's more gave it to Priyat again. Priyat is in the area. Hector is closing in on him, but Priyat took a shot. Priyat scored it. It's 4-8 after 67 minutes in the game. This is a good performance. Good finish, Priyad. Again, Priyad saw Demar Gray. Demar Gray is running through. Hector is the closest to him. Keeper safe, but Demar Gray was there to finish again. It is 5 0. 75 minutes in the game, and we are 5 0 up. Again on the 82nd minute, it's Barnes. Barnes saw Mandy. Mandy who finished brilliantly. Good goal by Mandy. Good run by him. He doesn't get much game time, but you see, when he gets a chance, he does make use of it. I like that from my bench players. Three minutes added on by the referee. Fulham trying an attack. They want a consolation goal. They didn't get it. Casper Schmeichel with a brilliant save. It's the end of the game. We win 6-0 in the FA Cup. 6-0 win for us. 2-0 win for Man City beating Liverpool. And Man United lost to Wolves. Wow. That was a big D. Oh man, you. Then Everton won, West Ham won, Spurs won, Stoke City won. Can we get Stoke City in the next round? Simulation game is going to be Aston Villa and us. We are at home. Easy win. It's one near Vadi have an injury. Hopefully, it's not a serious injury. I hope so. I hope it won't keep him out for so long. Oh my god. Next game is West Ham United. London Stadium starting 11 Baku Bari Atal Madison Tillamans Didi so Yoncho bought them Pereira and Chilwell they have Sanchez and De why is Sanchez Carlos Sanchez playing a center back I don't understand he's playing center back but first attack West Ham United Sebastian Haller with a shot but Kasper Schmeichel easy save Again, West Ham United, they were pressing us in the first half. They coming forward again, gave it to Sarko. Sarko with a shot, Kasper Schmeichel with a save again. Second half, we started it well. Three minutes in the second half, Atal dribbles a whole lot of players off West Ham United and put it in the bottom corner. It is 1-0 after 49 minutes in the game. We are starting well in this second half. Another attack came in the 62nd minutes. Cut inside. It's James Madison. A shot. It's a goal. James Madison with the second of the game. James Madison has been like a very good player for us in the first season, man. He's been scoring goal, helping in an attack. But they were not going to sit down, isn't it? So check. Tried a brilliant pass. He did find Kalagori. Kalagori with the cross. He finds So check. He started a move and finished it. So check. Good finish by So check on the 69 minute. It is 2-1. They're going to pull last back if we're not aware. But Atal, who is being a Good player for us. Gave it to Iannaccio. Iannaccio, brilliant finish in the bottom corner as well. It is 3-1 after 8 minutes in the game. Game over West Ham United. They are not coming back from this. Two minutes added on by the referee. Throw in for West Ham. Last chance for them. Felipe Anderson with a cross. Good header. Missed the target completely. Ajeti. That was the last piece of action in the, in the second half. End of the game. Next game. Brighton at King Power Stadium. Starting 11. Baco, Fadi, Atal, Madison, Tillamans, Ndidi, Soyoncho, Botten, Pereira, and Chilwell on wing bags. It's the same starting 11 as last time. 
Perez is still on the bench. Atal is starting. They're playing the formation that I hate. 4-5-1. Mark Alista is going to be a danger man. But first attack, it was with us. Atal with a good cross. He finds Jimmy Vardy with the head. And he missed the target completely. Another chance. Vardy got a chance. He is through. Defenders are way too far from him. He tries to put it between the legs of the goalkeeper. He missed. Tillemans with a header. He also missed. The old dog is not happy with that miss. Second half. Brighton coming forward. Paulino with a shot. Paulino scored. It is 1 nil after just 60 something minutes. 63rd minute. It was on the 63rd minute when they make it 1 nil. Good finish as well. Good pass, good finish. Schmeichel, no chance. Top corner stuff. Good ball, he finds Atal. His speed has been so amazing. He's going wide. He gave it straight to Jimmy Vardy, who finished on the 82nd minute. It is 1 1. Jimmy Vardy. Another chance on the 84th minute. We're coming forward. Tillerman, so needy. Didi, Didi tried to give it to Vardy, but that was a terrible pass. But they made a mistake. Tillerman's back to Vardy with a finish. 86 minute, it is 2 1. We just turned the game around in like four minutes. Jimmy Vardy with 27 goals in the Premier League. The record is 32. There are some few games left. But Paulino tries a good ball in the last minute of the second half, but easy save for Schmeichel. The referee ends the game like that. It is 2 1. We beat Brighton at King Power Stadium. Another good result for us. Let's quickly look at the league table and see how we did in this episode. First, the still Man City, 78 points. We are sitting fifth, 64 points. Looking at the team above us, it's Spurs with 67. And we're still going to play Spurs, I think soon then we have arsenal behind us with 55 points they look far man united as well but they have games in hand man united two games in hand i don't know why they have so many games in hand but they have two games in hand with 51 points uh, they can still catch us honestly speaking but 30 games gone now. It's only 8 games left. Let's look at the bottom half. Southampton now. They only have 3 wins and 2 draws. Uh, that gives them 11 points. Then Crystal Palace with 20. Norwich with 20. Bonnemont with 22. Sheffield with 23. Aston Villa with 28. That brings us to an end of episode 8, man. Let's do some episode 8 review and see how we did in this episode uh at home we faced fulham in the fa cup we managed to beat them six nil villa at home again we beat them one nil that was um and that we almost lost them and the third game of the episode it was away to london stadium it's west ham in the cup we managed to beat them three one though of which is a very good thing it was round of 16 of the fa cup then the last game of the episode we went to amex stadium we managed to grab a 2-1 win over brighton that was the brilliant episode altogether perfect all wins four wins two wins in the premier league again two wins in the cup that's brilliant i wish it was only a premier league games you see, if we can just collect all those points, it's 15 points, it takes us somewhere. It's 12 points, 12 points, yeah. It was gonna be 12 points, but then it was also in the cup. It's a good run in the cup, I love it. Um, we're currently doing well. Other than that, uh, thank you so much guys for the support. Uh, please like and please subscribe if you're new and share on your social media if you don't mind to do that. It's your boy signing out, bye. Wake me up now.